Did you know you can't just use any PSU if you have an NVIDIA 50 series GPU? Today I'm going to show you how to choose the correct power supply to pair with your 50 series GPU or let's say your entire PC build. We will be using MSI's newly released power supplies as examples. We'll take a close look at their modular design, specs, and features since all of these factors are very important when choosing the correct modular PSU for your build. So, let's go! Hey what's up guys, this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So what do we get inside the box of the MSI MAG A750 GLS PCIe 5? The fully modular 750 watts PSU obviously, the power cable, the modular PSU cables, you can pause the video to check the name list on your screen. 4 screws And I'm quite surprised to see that MSI included these cable combs. Now let's check what's inside the box of the MSI MAG A850 GLS PCIe 5. The fully modular 850W PSU The power cable the PCIe 5.1 cable, for some reason it was separated from the rest of the cables. And here are the list of the modular cables with the cable cones pre-installed. You can pause the video too if you want to check the list. Lastly, we have 4 screws and that's about it. Now let's have a quick physical overview. So both the 750W and 850W variants features the MAG logo on their sides, the tab houses the specifications and other informations, while one side has mesh vents along with the power input and switch, just like any standard PSU. On the bottom, you'll find the cooling fan with the MAG logo centered in the middle. Now about the cables. This power supply comes with an embossed jacket modular cables. Not only do they look great and slick with the matte black finish, but they are also designed with premium materials to improve flexibility and bendability. To add to that, there are cable combs included in the package. The 850W comes with a pre-installed to make organizing your setup a breeze, and you can even adjust its position as needed. Just a heads up, this feature also is included with the 750W but you need to manually install the cable combs. Well I guess that's all for its physical design, now let's check out its features. First off, it is built for high performance setups. It comes with a native 12V 2x6 connector and can handle up to 220% total power excursion, which is ideal if you're running a power hungry GPU or training machine learning models. It is also compliant with Intel's latest ATX 3.1 standards, so you're getting a future ready hardware. Efficiency wise, it is gold rated, which means lower energy consumption with more stable performance under load. You've got a semi digital design that uses ICs to control power delivery more accurately, improving both stability and responsiveness. Cooling is handled by a 135mm fan with a fluid dynamic bearing. This actually keeps things quiet while extending the fan's lifespan. The main capacitor is rated for 105 degrees Celsius too which speaks volumes about its durability under pressure. On the cable side, you've got a nickel-plated copper alloy connectors that resist oxidation. And of course, all protection mechanisms are available. Anti-surge protection, over-voltage, over-current, you name it. This PSU is clearly built with both performance and peace in mind in mind. These are exactly the features you should consider when choosing a new PSU. Anyway, let's plug the necessary cables for our build. Then we'll show you how to choose the correct PSU for your PC. So, let's go! And so, this is the PC that we're going to try the PSUs with. As you can see, there are no power supply over here and we're going to try the PSUs that we have from MSI. This is actually a full MSI build as you can see we have the case and this is called the Velox MPG Velox 300R Airflow. And for the motherboard we have the MAG Z790 
Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. We also have the i7-14700K under this Core Liquid A15 360mm AIO. As you can see, that is a very cool looking PC. Also, you will notice that we don't have any GPU at the moment because we haven't installed it yet. We're going to use this MSI Gaming Trio 5060. Yep, that is actually a 16GB GDDR7. We're going to install all of those things inside here. And yes, I almost forgot to mention that we have this MSI Spatium M480 PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2. That's actually a 1TB capacity. This is actually one of the advantage of having a modular PSU since you don't need to like to put all of those cables in and you will have a lot of cluttered cables in your PC. All we need to do is just to look for the things or should I say the connectors that we will be needing. So for this case, uh, for our build, we'll just be needing the 24 pin. Also the two CPU pins over there. I don't know if you can see this because it's very dark and also we will be needing the 12 volts native 12 volts 2 times 6 pin for our graphics card and i guess that's about it and we're just going to plug those cables there put it inside and we're going to test it out let's go So this is how the PC turns out and it looks very nice and clean. And if you will look over here, the GPU no longer needs to use one of these ugly cables. Instead, it is connected with a single, neatly sleeve cable that keeps everything looking tidy. If you're still using this abomination for your 50 series GPU, I suggest get one of these PSU from MSI already. So the question is, how to choose the right PSU or power supply for your RTX 50 series GPU paired with an Intel or Ryzen CPU? Let me give you an example. So if you're running an RTX 5070 paired with an Intel Core Ultra 5 or Ryzen 5 9000 series, it is recommended to go with a 750 watts power supply. That could be any of these PSU models from MSI. Another is if you're using an Intel Core Ultra 7 or Ryzen 7 from the 9000 series, you'll want to go with an 850W PSU. And again, any of these MSI models will do the job. Just make sure it supports PCIe 5 or you could run into some compatibility issues. Well, hopefully you get the idea because that's pretty much it. But if you're planning to get an RTX 5070 Ti or RTX 5080, be sure to check this purchase guide for more details. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look. Anyway, if you'll ask me if I'll recommend this, well, that is a yes with no question. I've tested these power supplies with an i7-14700K and with the MSI RTX 5060Ti gaming trio with no problem at all. We had some simple gaming and video rendering and didn't get any issues so far. 
So if you have the same setup as mine then you should get one for yourself too. So check out the links in the description below or the affiliate link on your screen. By the way guys, don't forget to come back in this channel next week because we are going to have a full review of the little brother of this GPU. And that's going to be exciting so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. That's it guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.